this is a big day for me because today we're releasing Circa 2. Now, if you've been following me since 2017 on this channel when I first started it, that was also when I built Circa 1. Circa is a tool for making circles plots really intuitively, easily, efficiently, without having to do any coding or writing long configuration files. And people have really liked it. But over the years, I haven't had much time with several jobs and so on. Um, I haven't had much time to update it, but that's changed now. Um, we, Robert, my husband and I, who you've seen him on the channel before on the podcast, we have started Ohm Genomics Labs together. So we are full time on this business and Circa right now is our top priority. We have spent the last six months rebuilding Circa from scratch using everything I've learned from past customers, any little issues I've been annoyed at, and just also taking the user experience and visualization skills and coding skills that we've both developed over the last seven years since I first built Circa, which is a lot. Uh, we've taken all of that and put it into making Circa 2 amazing. So I'm really excited to show it to you. Um, first, the format is a little different. Instead of downloading a package and installing it on your computer, it's just a web application. And this makes it very easy for us to push updates out to everyone so that when we want to make improvements, we can very quickly make sure that every user of Circa 2 has those improvements immediately. And that makes it great because we are planning to make lots of improvements and we are planning to learn from our users. We're planning to go out online and figure out what people want to make more circles plots with and enabling them to do so with all different sorts of biological data. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, let's take a quick side-by-side -side look of Circa 1 versus Circa 2. So you can see in Circa 1, I'm spending a lot of time with dropdowns. And in Circa 2, I pushed a button and suddenly the visualization has already appeared for that file. It guesses based on the column names. We've just made everything so much easier. I think the user experience is super smooth and it saves you tons of time. So let's talk through some of the new features in Circa 2. One of my favorite things is the ability to now just choose a data set and then hit the visualize button. And it's going to automatically choose a visualization type that makes sense for that data. It does this by analyzing the column names. So for instance, for this bar chart here, it's assuming that the chromosome column is used to choose which chromosome it goes on. And you have a start and end position within that chromosome. And then the Y is segmented coverage. But you could, for instance, drag the Y roll onto the start. And now we're just drawing each bar as tall as the start position or the end position, which looks very similar. Or you could actually plot by something real in your data like the segmented coverage and not just the position. And you can also drop the color tag onto the segmented coverage. And now we have a heat map. Let's change it to a rectangle chart so we get a more traditional heat map here. And we can change the color scale. I'm going to set it to 100 or let's say 50. And you can do this based on your data and then you could standardize it to be the same for multiple tracks, for instance. But instead of coloring by segmented coverage, you could also color by something else in your data. For instance, if we visualize variants, these are long range variants. So it's automatically chosen the ribbons visualization type here because it found a chromosome one and a chromosome two in the column names, along with a start and a stop position for each chromosome. And so that means that it 
most closely matches the ribbon type. We're going to move the color tag over to the variant type. And this is a categorical variable. So it's going to automatically choose the variance color scheme here because there's a good match for del translocation, inversion, duplication. And so it's going to choose colors automatically, but you can always change these and you can even add additional colors if you want to. For instance, making inversions red and duplications deep blue. And we got to change the translocations because those are the ones in the middle, so they look really cool. Let's just make those black. Two hours later. So you can really play with colors in a lot of different ways and very, very easily in Circa 2. It's so easy to use. It's amazing. So I can't wait for people to get their hands on this. Oh, and by the way, you can now try Circa 2 without buying it. You can try it using our gallery examples and a tutorial that has preloaded data, um, which is, again, my old tried and true data set from my PhD, the SKBR3 cancer cell line data set uh, with large structural variations. And it's a really fun data set to play with because it's got some large patterns. And you can play with this uh, completely for free. And then you only need to pay when you want to load in your own data instead of looking at our pre-prepared gallery examples. So I think that makes it really nice because I've always wanted people to be able to try Circa before they bought it. And it was really hard to do when it was an installable package. But now it works. Like you can just go try it right now. So go to circa.omgenomics.com and try Circa right now. And then, yeah, let us know if you finished the tutorial. It's a fun little challenge.